could tap water be causing your hair loss? Well, in this video, we're going to answer that question. So make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow hair. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So into the video on tap water. In this video, you're going to discover why tap water and heavy metals can cause hair loss. You're also going to learn exactly what to do to stop the effects and give your hair the best chance to recovering. So we're going to first look at tap water and fluoride. If you don't filter your water, you are the filter. So if you drink tap water, then your body is essentially filtering out all the organic and inorganic impurities that have been left there or were put there in the water on purpose. Depending on where you live and the quality of the tap water there, this can mean a gradual buildup of chemicals such as sodium fluoride, which is the active ingredient in rat poison, chlorine and aluminium, along with some other heavy metals like nickel, lead and cadmium that are far from beneficial to have in the bloodstream. So sodium fluoride can actually cause dryness and inflammation in the scalp, speeding up the process of hair miniaturization. So it's best to avoid this nasty chemical wherever possible. And also you've got limescale, also known as calcium carbonate, which is present in hard water and can cause scalp calcification and hair loss. Now one option you've got on the right here is to use a shower filter. This can help remove some of the nasty chemicals and calcium from tap water, which can ultimately help reduce scalp irritation and dryness. Now, drinking plastic bottled water isn't that much better either, since chemicals have been shown to leach into the water through the plastic. The larger the bottle, the less severe this is, so avoid small bottles and buy gallon bottles for use at home if you have to, or go for glass. However, bottled water, uh, natural spring mineral water, is definitely preferable to tap water as you won't be getting the fluoride. Luckily, there's an easy way to get water that's ideal for drinking, and that is to use a device that attaches onto the kitchen tap called a micro water generator. Now, this device first filters water through an activated charcoal filter to remove larger suspended particles and microbes. The water then enters a chamber which electrolyzes the water, drawing the nasty acidic chemicals like chlorine, fluoride and heavy metals to one side for disposal and the alkalizing minerals in a now alkaline solution to the other. Not only does this remove the harmful chemicals which are most likely contributing to hair loss, but it alkalizes the water that can be used to balance bodily pH, which we know from previous chapters helps stop hair loss. The device also ionizes the water, making it a potent antioxidant, which then scavenges damaging free radicals in the body. If that wasn't enough, micro water also, which forms clusters of water molecules about half the normal size, which then pass more quickly into the tissue, providing the benefits of alkalization and mineralization more swiftly. Well, I personally don't have a micro water generator in my home. It is quite expensive. If you've got the money, it can be a great investment. Now let's have a look at heavy metals found within tap water. Heavy metals are very potent little things with an excellent capacity to act as biocatalysts. In greater quantities than we're used to, heavy metals can wreak havoc because they can speed up and sometimes even completely alter the natural bioelectric reactions that take place continuously inside the body on a cellular level. Some heavy metals that enter the body can act as intermediaries between biological reactions that take place within our hormones. Higher concentrations of heavy metals than we have evolved to function with could be increasing the production of hormones that should only exist in very low quantities inside the body. Unnaturally high quantities of heavy metal, and one in particular could be speeding up the transformation of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone by making it much more easy for 5-alpha reductase to bond to the testosterone. Let's have a look at the types of heavy metals. Cambium was found to be one of the most potent heavy metal biocatalysts. The others, such as arsenic, barium, chromium, lead, mercury, and silver, all increased the speed of reaction as well, but it was cambium that was found to be the particularly powerful. 
before we look into how to reduce the levels of cambium and other heavy metals back to their natural levels, let's take a look at how they got there in the first place. Now, unless you've been living in a cave in a mountainous region in Nepal and eating wild nuts and berries your whole life, chances are you will have an unnatural amount of heavy metal inside of your body. Now, there's a few ways that they can get in there, and these include medications, vaccines, certain foods, uh, tap water, personal care products, and air pollution. What happens is they tend to accumulate inside the body instead of being flushed out because our sewage systems aren't working very well and our bodies aren't used to such high concentrations in our environment. This is where the idea of a detox comes in handy. When we detox our bodies, we have a chance to eliminate many of the heavy metals that were previously stuck deep inside the cells and organs. Our bodies don't have to spend energy digesting food, so their energy is focused on getting rid of all of the stuff that's been built up over time. Fortunately, we can drastically increase the rate of heavy metal detox, and specifically cambium, using what are known as chelating agents. Chelating agents are awesome little things that travel around the body and bind to the heavy metals. You might remember that I mentioned heavy metals are very potent catalysts. Well, this also means that this also means with that they bind very easily with the right chelating agent, but it has to be the right one, and are then much more easily flushed out of our bodies. Personally, we don't recommend EDTA, which is a powerful synthetic chelating agent, unless you have a significant exposure to heavy metals, due to the nature of your work or some similar reason. In fact, nature has provided us with the right ingredients. These are cilantro and chlorella, which can be taken in a supplement form. The real trick here is to combine a juice fast or water detox with cilantro and chlorella supplements. If you take the supplements by themselves, they're not, not known to work too well, but it's better than doing nothing. Now, we personally recommend Planetary Herbals Cilantro Metal Detox Liquid with Chlorella, but most supplements containing cilantro or chlorella, either together or separately, will work well. Admittedly, some of the research in this area is in the very early stage, which makes it hard to tell just how significant heavy metals are in the unnatural production of DHT in men. But it's certainly a promising and interesting area of research for biologists and chemists. So guys, that's what we want to share with you today on tap water and how it can impact hair. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.